Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I just want to talk quickly about how to cut plywood. Um, I didn't plan on recording this, so I didn't bring my camera. I'm using my phone right now, but I've got some sheets of plywood I'm cutting for somebody and uh, just thought I'd show you the easy way to do it because I see people struggle all the time trying to just use saw horses and then, you know, the, sh the piece drops on the ground and you're trying to like catch it or whatever and have it not rip, you know, when you get close to the end and you're almost done with that sheet and you're trying to hold it up with your knee and it's like, there's a very easy way to do this. So I'm going to just show you really quickly. All right, so I got all these sheets of plywood. This is how simple it is. I've got two saw horses, these metal saw horses and four foot um, two by fours screwed to them. They're sacrificial two by fours so I can cut right through them. And then I've got some eight foot two by fours that are sacrificial that I use for the other direction. So what I'll do is I'll lay the sheet on here and I can cut, I can um, cross cut and the sheets don't drop, you know, and I can move this. So if it's a, a rip, I can make it smaller, whatever I got to do. And I can, I can cut it very easily. And then when it comes time to like make a rip, um, then you obviously just put it on the sawhorses and rip it that way. So just a super simple way to do that. And to get perfect cuts, um, a lot of times if you're sheathing like a house or something, you don't need the edges to be perfect. But, you know, if you're doing any sort of like cabinetry or anything, that has got to be a nice straight edge. Um, I just use a level and use that as a straight edge. If I'm going the long way, I do have an eight foot straight edge at my shop that I use to do that, so. I got the sheet of plywood laying on top of these boards with the level clamped to it, so it can't go anywhere. I'll get a perfect cut and just watch it. Now if I was just cutting that on the end, that piece would have just fallen off to nowhere, so. Super simple trick. This works pretty good when you get down to the smaller pieces that you can't easily do just on saw horses too, so. I'm cutting the small piece off right here. So I just keep these saw horses and these sacrificial two by fours in my um, job trailer all the time. And I've got another set in my shop. So basically I can just cut plywood anywhere and never have to worry about how I'm going to do it and hold things up and whatever. When you also want to make sure that your saw blade is set deep enough to cut through the plywood, but you don't want to cut all the way through the two by four. So I set it to be like between a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch below the bottom of the plywood. I mean, you've got an inch and a half of two by four, but the more you cut through that, the more you weaken the two by four. So, you know, if you're down a quarter inch to a half an inch, you're good. That was really basically it. I just thought I'd share that little tip because like I said, I see people struggle all the time. So if uh, you got something out of that, if that was helpful, give the video a thumbs up down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.